an uncle of mine in Cork, Ireland, where I was born, Cove actually, said, you can tell a man of bruises by the company he chooses and a pig got up and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these are two very, uh, one's very short and one's uh, very quite medium. Quite cold. Yeah. Oh, well done. Associated Press, no doubt. No uh, drinks afterwards on the expense sheets. You screwed that one up in the last hoolie. Uh, anyway, where was it? Uh, God. Oh, yes. I'm glad this gig is on a Sunday because I was invited to Peru, as you are, last uh, Friday for a charity gig. Charity gig in Peru. Did it work? Well. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what it was about very succinctly and shortly. A man from Wolverhampton, Byr Island, invited me. He is married to Peruvian, obviously, and uh, hence he moved back there. Thank Christ. <laughs> no, it's enough of that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is it. Very quickly. Oh, yeah. Well, I knew I'd get a take. The people who struggle to achieve orgasm, don't worry if you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> he has allegedly a sense of humor. <laughs> anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's in your bed, the lion in your cupboard the fire in your head. And this goes uh, a bit longer. <laughs> Where is it? Here. <laughs> there we go. How is it? I'd put it somewhere. Oh, God. It's, oh, no. Far, far, cool. It's, uh, anyway, never mind. Uh, you should get hold of this. It's a very fun term. <laughs> It's also a sister publication of the Hampstead Village Voice. There's a lovely piece here. Andrew's a Hampstead, it's a hardware shop around the corner. And there's a woman outside in a little bubble saying something. I miss used to be such a lovely little <laughs> estate <laughs> agent. <laughs> anyway, this is it. Ha ha, you thought I'd forgotten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> out in early night. I don't think so. This is called The Unheard Cry. There was trouble with men down at the gate. There were men in the river and men in the plate. The mouths were opening and closing at an electrifying rate. The gold molars were screeching on the footman's brake. The broccoli in the cavities were congealing with the tobacco cake. The bridges were silent except in the saliva's wake. The cry came out from the first man but was lost in the huddled mass. Their mouths were tasting the leader before they could feel the crash. The rasps of the crying wounded were dying with the shimmering light. No one could see the outcome of this free-for-all fight. But way, way back in the distance could be heard a murmuring sound to reach them in the future when it was their turn on the slippery mound. I thank you. Mm -hmm.